Welcome to Noelle's Creative Kitchen. Today we were making one from scratch. Okay, so um, I'm gonna uh, show you how to make the filling, the stuffing, before I start showing you how to make mix the flour from scratch. And I'm also gonna show you how to make um, the sauce to go with that. Okay, so. There's going to be lots of things going on in this little kitchen, so pay attention. I'm going to start, um, also start making my sauce too as well. Why I'm, why I also have my pan to do the pork filling for the banquan. Okay, so I added some, get closer honey. So I added some oil in there, not too much because you're going to get some oil from the pork already. And I added some garlic, okay, not, just don't turn on too, it's going to be noisy. So that's first thing, and then here's my, um, the stuff that I prepared, this is chopped onion, that's garlic. So I'm going to add a chopped onion into the pan. Okay. Alright. And And you will see here, I have ground pork. This is one pound, okay? One pound of ground pork. So I'm gonna add it. Mmm, smells good already, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. Your favorite, right? This is, this is Brandon's favorite. So, my favorite too. Honey, can you help me with, um, my husband's going to be shoe chef today, helping, assisting me with making the sauce and everything else here that I'm doing. You want to the hotter one? The hotter one. Okay. So, you're going to learn how to make the sauce, the filling for the banquan, and the banquan from scratch. Okay, while I'm getting this started, I'm going to show you how to make the, the flour. Okay, ready? Over here. So I'm going to show you how to mix one from scratch. It's not pre-mixed, but um, I bought a, there's two kind of flours that you need. Okay, so get close to it so you can see this. Um, Tepiyoko starch and the rice flour. So it's half and half. So this is how I measure it. Can you stir my pot for me through there, my pan? I should have just mixed half of this, but I'm gonna do the whole bag. This might be too much. I was gonna make a small portion today, but it's okay. So you're gonna add. You know what, honey? I probably need the big pan, the big pot. Stir this because it's gonna be more water. I'm gonna add it in here. Yes, regular room temperature water. I use this um, bowl, soup bowl. I don't know what size is it. What size is this, Eddie? What size is this bowl? I can't. 
So that means there's 10 cups in there already. And it's supposed to be four. Four of this bowl. Okay, full of sugar, honey. So hang on a second. So that's three. So that means five times four, 20 cups of water. Right? 20 cups of water. Okay. Hang on, we let's go back to the side. Okay, that's good. So what's going on here? So you add a little bit more water, so the sugar so has been water, caramelized. This is sugar. Yeah, that's pure sugar. How much water do you um, Put some more sugar. It doesn't seem like it's not enough because I'm going to make more honey. So this is caramelized sugar that I'm making sauce, using it to make sauce. Put some more. You can add more into that already? Yeah, you can. Okay, that's good. And then you can add, now add some money. So I'm going to add, oh, and you also need the, is this is fun, fungus? Elephant ear fungus or wood ear. Mm. Fungus. Mushroom, fungus mushroom, dry fungus mushroom. I soak it, I chop it up. And now I add it onto my, water. yeah, just add water. Yeah. So be prepared. You're gonna be lear be learning like three different things here at the same time. So I added some oyster sauce into my board here. Okay, as usual. Soy sauce. So anything that will make it taste good. Add it on. And okay. fish sauce. Oh, and then he added some sugar over there. I mean, water. So how much water did you put on there, honey? Uh, about a bowl. About a bowl? Okay. Water. Yeah. And some black pepper, too, okay? Dissolve the sugar in the water. Mm-hmm. Come with some sauce. As long as it's not in the foam, yeah, it will go. It's good color. I mean, it's, you didn't burn it, right? Make sure you don't burn your sugar. I don't know what you're thinking. I see. <laughs> I hope not because it won't taste good. It is. You can turn it off now. Not dissolved. It's okay. It will dissolve. I think I need some more oyster sauce. So I never measure the ingredients. You just put it in and you taste it at the end. Good is good. Okay. How is it, hun? Nobody might be. Okay, this is almost done. Caramelized. Is it caramelized? Okay. Let it cool down, I'll show you the next step. Okay. Okay, we're gonna look in the Down you. No, that's down you. Be tasty. Smells good. It looks good now. It's almost ready. So I'm gonna sit, set it aside. 
why I go finish the flower. Jackfruit. <laughs> Now remember, one bag of flowers each. These two flowers, okay? Mix them well. And I will add some... Okay, thanks, honey. Some oil in there. I need to get the cups. Measurement cups, so you know. Yeah, like cement, you gotta mix it okay. while you're... Pouring the water in there. I know, but I was on the other end. So, one, that's spoon, okay? Tablespoon. Two, three, four. That should be good. And what I like to do is, I know not too many people like to do this, but I like to add my, add the green onion into my flowers okay. and and some salt in there a little bit of salt a couple pinches of salt hey won't the green onion break up the bunk one when you try to wrap it no it doesn't turn into paper nope it tastes good all right so this is salt that's a teaspoon now one two Three teaspoons. Spoon. Spoons. Okay. We're gonna oh. move on. Are we good with that? I don't know. You were the cook. Okay. Let's do. Are we? I think we're good with that. Okay, honey. Are we gonna do? find it difficult to do. You can put it right here. Oh. Let me move this here. This is the fun part. Um, where are you making the... You're making a bun corn wrap here? Mm -hmm. Both. I'm using two so I can be fast. Okay. Just, just trying to figure just out where you... Just watch this. So I added the first batch. I like to add a little bit of oil in there so it doesn't stick on my pan. Okay? Got it, babe? Heat up your pan. Oops, I'll heat up this one. I'm going to make a trade of this today for an event that I'm going to. Hello! Hello! Volunteer appreciation. So come and have some near the area. Okay, sweetie. Okay, done. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. I think it's almost ready. You see the. So remember that it's two, one bag of the flowers each and then four tapioca no, tapioca and the rice flour and then 20 cups of water is that 20 cups? yeah 20 mm -hmm. how high do you have your pan? It's, it should be medium like the first one so then you're supposed to cover can you get the cover for me honey? Mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. yeah and then a little and then make sure that it's not the first one will not be as good but it make sure that it's not too thick 
Okay. You're testing the first few. Yep, I'm testing the first few. To perfect the... Mm -hmm. See how? So my flour is perfect. So it's not too thick. Cover this up. And it's almost ready. What do you use to scrape it off? Nothing. So this is easy. See? Oh. <laughs> cool, huh? Holy cow. So the... What size? You got two different sizes here, though. I got two different sizes, see? You're you purposefully just, making two sizes of one one. Yep, I literally... I was going to make like either the egg, eggs hand size. So now, so you could do this in less, less than half an hour. See? If you have a husband that helps, of course. Yeah, that'll be pep for everything. So look, see? Voila! Look how nice it look. Professional. So that's the small size. That's the small size. Uh huh. Okay. See, go over. The, go back over there, honey. You see how it's like nice and so you don't have to worry about. Hang on. Where is it? So this is done. Now this. See. Flip it over. Oops. <laughs> Messed up on that one. Hang on, honey. Okay. Hang on. So that one's almost done. And you keep going. You need oil? No, I don't because I put that. I tried to cook not too much oil in it. Healthier. So that's good. The first one, like I said, you will not get a perfect roll. So try, but I always try to work around it. And I can still manage to make it work. Because I guess. See? Nice and thin. And you know what? This flour will stay, will remain soft the whole day. How long do you cook this for? That's good enough, honey. It will remain soft. Even though you leave it out, this is perfect, honey. Okay, put in some more for me. No oil? No oil. Okay. What is it? Three minutes already? No. Three minutes left. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is perfect. So let me show you how to make the sauce now. Let me try. Okay, honey. Where's the sauce? You got that one. But let me finish this one first, honey. Okay. So this one almost perfect. There. See. You want to try to keep this video less than 10 minutes so you won't get bored. So let me finish this up. I'm sure you know how to do it now. Make sure your pan is um, not sticky, okay? Non-stick pan. Look how nice they look. Okay. So let me cover this up. I mean, that's kind of thick there, okay? You want it not to be thick. Just keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Like that. Okay, so now... It's uh, not too sweet. Not too sweet? Is it not too sweet? I don't taste it. It looks dark to me. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, it's. I can't use it. Just, just, it's done. It's We're done. done here. We're done here. Huh? Do it another video. Okay, I know, but I'm gonna show. So I'm not gonna use this because my husband burned my sugar, oh. caramelized sugar. Well, I'm cutting that out. Sorry. Oh, I get I'm cutting that out. Okay. So I'm gonna make another sauce. So this is how you make the sauce. You just add lime, chopped peppers, and garlic. And I add this type of fish sauce. Okay? So that's it. That wraps it up. So right here, sauce. Oh, it's <laughs> I'm gonna keep on rolling. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. And next one, we're going to be making Laman Lo Mit. So you want to follow me on my YouTube is Noel Creative Cuisine. So we're going to be making Laman Lo Mit next. Okay, so follow. Bye.